into 1981, and Charlton are riding high, prompted from midfield by the likes of Dick Tideman and Phil Walker. This Charlton team are proving they've got the stamina to go all the way. Colin Powell and Martin Robinson are always prepared to break down the flanks. Well, it's a good, secure job at the moment at the back there for Hull. But here's Walker. It's a good bit of play by him, and that very nearly crept in. Terrific acceleration there by Phil Walker, and as we see again, there wasn't an awful lot for Tony Norman to spare there. That might have just crept in. A very good one there from Robert, straight to Tideman. A little touch there for Robinson, looking to get past Hooligan, finding Walsh. And that might come for Hales, on the other hand, it might not. A little play there, deep in defence by Hull City. And uh, number four, Steve Richards. Take it. And both Shaw and Barry have taken themselves, both six footers, into that Hull City six yard area. There's Peter Shaw. And it's Marwood getting it away, only as far as Tideman, who hits a terrific goal! Well, you'll have to go a long way to see a better one than that. And uh, a face that shows more delight than that, for that matter. Well, the ball was only half cleared, and just look at Tideman. Tremendous shot, just inside the far post. Good jump by Berry. Bales playing it for Robinson. And Charlton looking as though they could well take over this game now as Madden plays it in there. And it'll come with it for Hales. It might still come for Hales. And a good stop that time by the keeper. under enormous pressure now as the ball was played in well there and Hales really battled for this one against two the ball fell for him there tried to get his shot in and the keeper got down well not helped by the defender and here comes Charlton again with Tideman and this time Walsh is onside played back and in by Hales 2 nothing. And suddenly everything's collapsed for Hull. They defended with a bit of spirit there for 25 minutes and they've conceded two goals in the last three minutes now. First by Tideman and now by Derek Hales, who's really got it in for Hull. Walsh, a very good player, played sensibly back from the byline and Hales' his touch finishes it off. Oh, manager Mike Bailey looks a little furious about something there. They're 2-0 up, but he's still not happy. And here's Tyler. Perry. Not sure. Long ball forward again. Robinson might get in behind them here. And Hales is in there. Oh, and a good piece of keeping again, but Hales is still in possession. How with a little cross there, can Robinson get to that one, nodding it down there, and they're still in trouble, and it's there by Walker! Well, Hull made so many of the troubles there themselves, when they had opportunities to get it away, and they were a little unfortunate right at the finish there, but it's 3-0 with uh, Walker the scorer. Turned in first time, Hales, I thought, might get it, but the keeper, in fact, did well there. Back for Colin Powell, dinked in again there for Robinson now to get up and turn it down well. And as they tried to get it away, it hit back off Walker, and it's 3 0 Walsh again, nice little touch that time for Colin Powell. He's never lacked a yard in pace. Getting to the byline, whipping back a good cross there for Walker! A wing run there by Colin Powell and the cross hit him a little firmer there actually and Walker reaching it well but it's wide of that post 
Free kick for Charlton. About 12 minutes left. Some really exciting stuff that by Charlton. Everything in the air with some really expert heading. But there was an offside at the crucial moment. Hales with a header, and Martin Robinson, who was just offside with their header, and Norman tipping it over in any case. McLaren playing it through on the far side. It's Mutri challenged by Terry Naylor. Steve Richards has come up very late for this one. And he's the man they've aimed for, and in fact it was Richards who got it! Knocked into the back of the net there by John Roberts. And Hull have pulled one back. Well, the big former Arsenal defender got an unexpected goal there for Hull City. And as far as I'm concerned, it's his first of the season as well. Hooked in from, as you can see, five yards. No chance for Nicky Jones. Crowd would dearly love another goal from Charlton. They had three in the first half that raised all their hopes for something like an avalanche in the second, which hasn't really happened. Charlton have not added to those three in the second half. I'll have scored their one, but here's Steve Britt now for Charlton in the last moments of the game, and that's a good headed clearance of Anna. Not so good, actually, as it comes straight to Colin Powell. Tideman. Robinson on the far side, getting in there with a header, Walsh, Hales, and as near really as Charlton have been to a goal in the second half. It's a good header down here by Robinson, and Walsh really completely missed his chance there, Hales had it knocked away. A bit of spirit there about Charlton in the last couple of minutes of the game, but the game looks pretty well won for them as Hooligan though puts it forward again there for Hull City. Shaw's going to surely get to that one, he does, at the expense of a corner. So John Roberts comes up again, Steve Richards has come up from the back as well. And it's knotted away there by Shaw, and then into the back of the net there. Well, I think that must have been Edwards. But it was a spectacular piece of play there, right at the last. And uh, the header was there, and then... There was the header in the first place by Roberts. It was knotted away there by Shaw, and then a really spectacular overhead kick there by Keith Edwards. And that makes it 3-2, which is a really surprising scoreline. 